Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. How are you all going? I'm really good. I just got a really exciting parcel in the mail that I thought I would open with you guys. But since I'm doing that, I may as well make a whole floss tube episode. So here we go. I don't have too much stitching to show you because it's only been, I think, less than two weeks since my last video. But I did have a page finish. I finished the Heaven and Earth Designs challenge number four, which was the challenge was just finish a page by April or something. So I've done it. Uh, and okay, I'm doing it Contessa with Squid by Omar Rayyan. And I finished the first page and here it is. It is not very exciting. That's it. It's just mainly black. This orange part down here is a part of a tentacle that's going to show up on this page and the page below. There's a lot of exciting tentacles to come. But yeah, this page was just a lot of black. And that's probably why I finished it so quickly, because it was mainly black. Um, I actually could have finished it on Monday, but I was waiting for some DMC threads to come in the mail. I literally had two stitches left to fill in. But I did it now. So you can probably see where the bit I stitched is. I'm really tempted. I want to work on the next page down or the next page across because it would be so fun to actually see some of the tentacles come to life. But for now it's time to put this away and move on to other things because I've got a lot of goals for this year. I am busy. I've given myself too much to do and now I'm freaking out um, a little bit. But that's all right. I'm challenging myself. It's good. Okay, so there's that one. Um, I've done a little bit of work on um, the Paddington Bear chart. This is Paddington in Paris. And I think I had started it last time I showed a video. Um, I did some babysitting for my sister's kids and I got some more done on that then. Not much. Uh, I'm going up to Sydney this weekend, so I might take it with me. I should be able to get some done up there. It's a nice, small, easy portable, easy to carry thing to take with me, so I'll take it up to Sydney, see if I get some more done. I should be able to. Um, and the other thing I have to show you is, oh this is kind of two things. Number one, I made myself a, a frame, a Q-snap frame, a lap frame, and I love it and it works so great and it's the same size as my 11 by 11 inch Q-snaps. I need to get like a cover that has holes in the bottom for these legs. I'm so pleased with this. I can't believe I made it myself. It was pretty easy to do too. Um, I've kind of loosely followed Pam's Crafty Corners tutorial. I will link her in the doobly-doo. Um, it's a good tutorial. Uh, I had to actually cut the pipe myself because in Bunnings in Australia they said they won't do that. So I bought a PVC pipe cutter. It's like a big pair of scissors thing and you, you have to ratchet it closed and that wasn't easy and I got blisters on my hand but I'm so happy with the result I do it again it was great I really recommend if anyone is interested in doing it just do it it cost me about $15 for the materials and the result is great um so you might have noticed there's some stitching on here and I know I need to put something behind this so you can see it just a minute there we go so this is the Beautiful Sea Mystery Stitch Along and that's what I've done so far. I've decided I'm going to finish up to part four and then I'm going to rotate this out for the Celtic sampler. But it's really pretty. The colours are nice, my needle minder is so cute and it's quite fun to stitch on. Uh, it comes up pretty quickly. I've been doing this for three days I think and I basically all I had done before that was just these fish and this thing so in the last three days I guess that isn't that much I've also been stitching something else in the last three days it's a secret though I can't show you <laughs> it's only a small thing it's a thing I'm doing for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day so I won't be able to show you until after then because I'm pretty sure he's like sneaking a watch at these videos Tim um, so I won't be showing you until after Valentine's Day, <laughs> but I will post it on all the groups. Uh, so you'll probably see it. It's cute. Uh, <laughs> that is almost done actually. I started it on the 17th, which was Tuesday, um, for the Stitch Mania Year of Whips stitch along. No, sorry, Year of Starts. 
So for some reason, I've decided I'm going to also do the year of starts stitch along this year. Not the full one you start every day, just one you start every month. So for this month, I started that little thing and it might get finished. Oh, I probably won't have time to finish it today. I'm actually home from work this week on training. So while the guy is doing the lecture, I've been able to get some stitching done, which is nice. <laughs> and I've been getting the mystery piece done for Tim while he's been out of the house. But I probably won't actually get to finish it today, which means I don't know when I'll next get a, start, a chance to stitch on it. Um, but it's really small. I'm like 90% or 80% done now, so that's good. Uh, what else? That's all the stitching I've done. That's all I can show you. <laughs> but I've got some stash, some fun stash. What else was I going to tell you? Oh, so I went to, last Saturday, I went to um, a stitchy get together with the Canberra cross stitches and I made some friends, which is so nice. I haven't, um, sat down with stitches in ages. <laughs> um, I met, some of you might know Jo from Vintage Chic Stitcher. Uh, I met her and we had a great time. I met a few other girls too. It was so nice to sit around and talk about stitching and my gosh, they've all like got babies and kids. Talk about babies and stuff like that. <laughs> it's fun. It's really fun. Um, and when we went, we also did a kind of stash unload kind of thing where we brought the stash we didn't want to exchange and sell to each other no one bought any of my stuff I gave one of um, one of the ladies brought her nine-year-old daughter and I gave her um, a little teddy bear bookmark kit I had and she said she can't cross stitch yet but I hope she learns because she'll be able to stitch that it's really cute um, and I bought from Joe actually um, the Brooks books Alice in Wonderland kits only three charts the charts only three of them um, I've got Alice and I've got the white rabbit and I've got the Mad Hatter and I might have mentioned that I kind of love Alice in Wonderland and it was really funny because literally just on Saturday morning I had been looking at the Brooks Books Etsy page and I had favorited the whole um, set of 12 of the Alice in Wonderland charts and I really I, I, I am definitely going to get all all the rest of them at some point and stitch them at some other point but yeah, now I've got to start. I got three of them. I'm so happy. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Um, I also received my DMC floss card, which is so cool. Oh my gosh. I mean, I knew I needed it and it was nice to have, but like, it's just really cool to hold in your hand all the DMC flosses. And this is the one with the actual real floss on it. It's not just painted cardboard. It's actual real floss samples. Um, and it also has all the variegated and the light effect colors and on the back here it's got pearl cotton and other things. So this is really cool and it's going to come in handy with converting, um, with figuring out what colors are in my Dream a Dream, um, the Dream a Dream project I'm going to restitch for my nephew. My nephew came over the other week and he saw the Dream a Dream and I read it to him and he <laughs> he he loved it. He like melted. He wants it so badly. I'm really pleased he likes it. So that's good. I've got this. I'm so pleased. It's a really nice thing to have guys. I ordered this on eBay. It came from England. It cost me about $45, which is the cheapest I could find it. You can buy it um, from Australian shops for about 70. So yeah, this was great. I also, so when we were at the Canberra Cross Stitches on Saturday, someone point, someone had been looking at the Green Shed, which is one of our local sort of op shops, charity shops. Um, and on their Facebook page, they showed that they had completed framed stitch pieces. They had one of the um, Lavender and Lace Celtic Ladies, the Christmas one, and they had a Mirabilia, My Lady's Garden, and they had another one next to it that we couldn't quite see in the picture. And we were all like, oh my gosh, what are they doing in the charity shop? We have to go and rescue them. <laughs> so the next day, I actually did go to the Green Shed shop. And the only one they had left was my lady's garden, the Mirabilia one. And that was the one I wanted. Um, and it was only $40 for this completed, finished, enormous Mirabilia. It was about this big Mirabilia. And the frame as well made it bigger. Um, but I didn't buy it. <laughs> 
which I kind of regret now a little bit. Maybe I should have bought it anyway. The problem was the corner of the frame, the top corner was like all busted and the glass was a bit cracked and I would have had to reframe it. Um, but I could see that the fabric was glued to the back and I wasn't sure how well it would come off. And then when I looked at the stitching, it was on a massive count fabric. It might have been um, probably 28 count, which is massive to me. <laughs> I know that you have to do 28 or 32 for Mirabilia's because of the beads, but it just looked um, really huge. Um, and it wasn't incredibly beautifully stitched. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to save the $40 <laughs> and I'm going to buy the chart and kit it up for probably a little bit more than that. Probably 50 or 60 to kit that up and I'll stitch it myself. <laughs> So it might still be there, guys. <laughs> it's in the green shed in Garima Place. Um, yeah, uh, but while I was there, I did buy something. I bought some floss and some more floss. I counted, there's 302 or something skeins there, which is pretty cool and it cost me $25 for each one. Um, so that's 50, 300 skeins of floss for about $50. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, they're all sorted in, in numerical order and it starts at about 500. So I think there might have been a third box that someone already made off with. <laughs> Which is a bit of a bummer. Like a box with all the numbers from 200 to 500. Oh well. I'm really happy. <laughs> it's definitely not like a complete set or anything but extra floss always comes in handy. Okay, is there anything else? There's nothing else I have to say except that my gigantic $400 order, 400 Australian dollars, <laughs> from 123 Stitch just arrived like 10 minutes before I started filming this video. I'm so excited. I've cracked open the bag so I don't have to do that. And I'm ready to get stuff out and show you. <gasps> I'm really excited. I'm still waiting on another big order from uh, ABC Stitch because 123 didn't have a few things. But let's get into it and see. Oh, okay, here's my, my bill. Well, it's not a bill. I've already paid it. It goes on to two pages, guys. It's big. Okay, let's see what I've got. Oh, the new DMC threads. All the new colours because... I don't have them yet. I think they only came out in 2013 and I wasn't stitching at that time, so there we go. That should now complete my DMC thread collection. Oh! Okay, so I have kitted up two Mirabilias here, <laughs> um, but they didn't even have the chart for one of them, so that was a shame. <laughs> one of the ones I kitted up I didn't even mention in my plans for this year. <laughs> Uh, and I think I'm going to kit up another one because I've actually, I'm actually thinking one of the other ones is the one I will actually do this year. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But this is one of the ones I kitted up. This is the Garden Party by Nora Corbett. I'm Mirabilia and it's one of the newer ones I believe. But it's so pretty. And I'm planning on doing it on like a really dark bluey purpley fabric which I haven't yet ordered. I haven't ordered the fabrics for any of my mirrors because you have to um, do a lot of research to get fabric these days. Yeah. So there's my mirror. I got a few patterns, but not too many. I've got quite a lot of kits. <laughs> um, here's a Jardin Privé called Ondulations, which is very pretty. So cute. Um, that's not the greatest picture in the world, but I love just the giant flowers between the houses and the the wavy ground. Very cute. Yeah, I don't know when I'll do that. I got this one that's been on my wish list for a while. Octopus Garden by Blackbird Designs. Under the sea in an octopus garden. In the shade. It's really pretty. I think it's one, I think it's a Beatles song. It is a Beatles song. Um, and I actually don't know the song. But it just looks so sweet. <laughs> and I have a thing for squids and octopuses and cephalopods in general, so yeah. There's that. Um, this is one that's been on my wish list for a while. Oops, I hope you didn't just see the pattern. It's um, Birds of a Feather, Bloom Where You're a Plant, Where You Are Planted. And I also really love the giant flowers in this one. Maybe I have a thing for flowers as big as houses. Um, it's cute, right? Yeah. I, I know it's not everybody's taste, but I think it's very sweet. <clears throat> 
So is that all the charts I got? They didn't have Sir and JD, so I'm still, still waiting for that to arrive. Um, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, I see a bunch of kits here. Ooh, wow, exciting. So I went a bit crazy on the Gold Petites, because in America you guys pay $10 for these. They're like $30 to $40 here. So yeah, I went a little bit crazy. Um, I got Voyage at Sea, Dimensions Gold Petite. I got oh, May and the Samurai, the matching set. Oops, I should do it that way. So they're facing each other. And that's probably how I'll frame them too. So they're facing each other. And I also got Elegant Geisha because you can never have too many geishas. They're lovely. All right, so there's four gold petites I didn't need. <laughs> and I don't know when I'll stitch them. Oh, I saw someone had was doing this, I think, on Stitch Mania. And it looks simple and fast and cute. And it's a really nice sentiment. It says, she took a leap of faith and grew her wings on the way down. So I wanted to do it and it was cheap, so I bought it. And it's, yeah, and it comes with Lugana, which is nice. Or is it linen? Actually, it could be Joblin. It looks like it's the stretchy stuff, which is Joblin. <clears throat> Um, oh, I got a, mil a couple of Mill Hill kits. This one that I saw someone also do on, on Stitch Mania last year and immediately put it in my wish list. And apparently these Mill Hill kits stitch up pretty quickly, so that's good. That might be one of my year of starts projects. I got this Mill Hill one. They've got a whole series of sugar skulls. Um, yeah, there are five more. They're all here on the back. I'm kind of thinking of doing this for a friend. But I'm also kind of thinking of doing it for myself because I like it. <laughs> yeah, and they even come with the canvas. This is going to be really fun. I'm excited to do these. Some people I know get really, really into the Mill Hill kits. Some people are doing a lot of them. Um, yeah, so that's good. Oh, 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 oh. So I've got my fabric for Sir and JD. This is a 32 count black Belfast. And I've since had a rethink about the fabric and I'm actually going to look for a piece of 36 or 40 count and do it with one strand over two um, because I think that will look nice and also it will save a bit of silk. I have six kits here. Actually there's only four here, where are the other two? Five, six. <clears throat> These are all mini kits that I'm going to, I've got them ready for my uh, nieces and nephews to do when they learn how to cross stitch. Because these were $2 each. I bought some mini kits in Spotlight last year, they were $6 each and they weren't as cute as these. I can't believe $2 each. You Americans have it so lucky over there. Uh, so there. Aren't they cute? So I can't wait until they do start stitching. Charlotte is very interested. The boys not so much yet, but I think when they see more of someone doing it, their mum or me or Charlotte, then they'll want to pick it up too. And we can't have somebody miss out. <laughs> um, oh my God, there's more kits in here. I went crazy, look at all this stuff. Oh, yay. So I got some more of these small Perman kits. Um, I don't know why they're in such large packaging. This is poppy field this is daisy field and this is cornflowers um, and there are three more that I saw on one two three stitch there's like these two are sort of landscape and there's a blue one I think the lavender field to go with this and then this one's portrait and there are two other portrait ones one is um, daisies and one is some, a yellow flower. Uh, so I'd love to do all six of these. I've got to actually order the other three, I think. Uh, oh, they're so pretty. And I like permanent kits. They come really nicely already organized with, color, with DMC thread and nice fabric. And, uh, oh, doesn't stash make you happy? It really does. It works on me at least. <laughs> so I've got a lot of silks in here too. And these are all 
I think these are all the Mirabilias, for the Mirabilias that I kitted up. The other Mirabilia I started kitting up was Tree of Hope. Um, Tree of Hope, yes, Tree of Hope. Um, and I am probably going to kit another one up in a few months. At least one more. <laughs> I think these are the silks for the Mirabilias. I don't know which one is for which. And I know that there was actually one silk missing. Yes, there was one silk that they didn't have that I had to order from ABC Stitch, which will be coming in my next order. Um, there's a whole ton of beads and a couple of Krennics in here, which are also for the Mirabilias. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I should have left these in the bag, I think. A lot of beads. Mill Hill beads, more Mill Hill beads. Oh, they're pretty ones. Petite glass beads. Uh, more beads. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to start liking beads. They're nice colors, lots of purple, right? Mmm, what else? So I've got some silks here for Sir and JD. These are needlepoint ink silks. So there's five colors here. You can see there. Oops. And um, Sir and JD called for Needlepoint Ink, um, Karen Collection, and Averisoir. Um, not Karen Water Lilies, just Karen Collection um, solid colours. And they didn't have either of those on 123 Stitch, so I've ordered them from ABC Stitch. So these are some of the colours. There are more colours coming. Um, ooh! Okay. I got some Floss Away bags because I've been in desperate need of. The ones I have aren't actually Floss Away, they're called Bag It, and I can't find them anywhere now, but Floss Away because I need some more. Um, I got some metal rings for my bags. I got some needles because... I got some beading needles because I need some beading needles. And I got Bowen needles because I have used them before, um, but I've heard a lot of people saying that they're the best. Recently I've been using Peacemakers size 26 and 28. I really like Peacemakers needles. But I've heard a lot of people raving about the Bowens recently, so I got one packet of 26 and one packet of 28. And we'll see. We'll see if I like them or not. And then last but not least, I got three pairs of scissors for my scissor collection. Have I... I don't think I've shown you my scissor collection. I have, I don't know, maybe a dozen pairs of scissors now. I like scissors, I collect them. I bought... Ooh, these are gorgeous. I can't remember what they were called. What, mm, they're called bronze butterfly embroidery scissors. <gasps> I love these! This, is, this was at the top of my wish list for a long time. I also got more Kelmscott ones. These are miniature Elizabeth scissors with roses on the handle. They're pretty. Um, I, I got another pair of stalk scissors because my pair is blunt as anything and it's... Um, these are actually a little bit different to the ones I have. They're much nicer. So that's good. More peacock scissors and there is another pair of scissors that they are sending separately because they didn't um, have them in stock I suppose so they're coming separately <laughs> and that's it oh my god I'm kind of overwhelmed <laughs> there's a lot of stuff and I've got to find a place to put it all before Tim gets home hi Tim <laughs> I really hope he doesn't actually watch these videos <laughs> but it's fine this is my money and I spend my money how I want I spend what I want Okay, so that's all guys. Just a little bit of haul. I thought you'd enjoy that. I hope you did. I sure did. Um, <laughs> I'm expecting my other parcel. I don't know when because it hasn't even been posted yet. Um, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna go and do some stitching. Actually, my class is starting. So I'm gonna go and listen to my lecture or lecture while I do some stitching. And I'll put this away on the breaks and I hope you all have a fantastic stitchy day <laughs> and stitchy week. I don't know when my next video will be. Uh, it's January 20th today. My next video will come in the future. Mid-February maybe. Let's go with that. I don't have like monthly goals that I decide to do at the end of the month. You know, it's not like I have to review my goals at the end of each month. So... I don't need to stick to monthly videos or fortnightly videos or anything. I'm just going to make a video next time I have something to show you, basically. So, bye. Have Enjoy your stitching. Have a nice stitchy week or two weeks or month. And I'll see you next time.